Welcome, in this video I'll show you the easiest way to install Linux on Windows 11. Alright, as you can see here, I'm currently using Windows 11. Now, for this process, we're going to be using an application called VMware Workstation Pro. Okay, don't worry, it's totally free. Now, if you don't know how to install this one, you can go ahead and check the link below. I will be leaving a link that will teach you how to install the VMware Workstation. Okay. Once you have it installed, just leave it open, then go ahead and open up a new browser tab. Okay, now type in Kali.org. Hit on enter. Wait for it to load. Now once it loads, just click on download right here. Okay, now in here just click on virtual machines. Okay, now I'm going to be using a VMware. If you have installed VirtualBox or Hyper-V, you can go ahead and uh, choose these options. Okay, just going to click on download. There will be a download pop-up, save it wherever you want. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and save it to my uh, documents and virtual machines right here. Save. Just wait for process to finish. As you can see here, it will be uh, 3.3 gigs. Just wait for it. As you can see here, the download is done. So what we'll do is just find that folder. Okay. Open it up. Close the browser if you want to. Now extract the folder from here, extract, just wait for it. Now once it's extracted, you're going to go ahead and delete the RAR file if you want to. Okay. Delete. Here we have the folder. So just close this one. Now go ahead and open up the uh, workstation or VMware workstation. Don't click on create a new virtual machine. Okay. As we're going to open a pre-made Linux virtual machine. Open up right here at the center. Now select the folder, this one, and just click on it, hit on open, and wait for it to load. Okay, once it loads, just click on play right here or power on in this section. Wait for it to open, booting, just wait for it, and there you have it. Okay, just wait for the sign in page. If it asks you to sign in, just like here, I'm just going to maximize this one. Just type down Kali for username and for password Kali as well. All right, log in. There you have it. That's the easiest way to install Linux on Windows 11. You can go ahead and choose full screen if you want to. All right, right click and here we have a ton of options. And there you have it. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.